Hello everyone. Uh, today I will show you why the weight vector of the decision boundary is uh, orthogonal to the boundary itself. So let's begin. Uh, in support vector machine, you know normally um, we represent a line by this equation y is equal to mx plus c, where uh, m is the slope of the line and c is the intercept along the y-axis and uh, when you do things in machine learning so we just change the notation to <coughs> change the notation to uh, we change like x to x1 and uh, y to x2 uh, this is a better uh, representation because uh, you know uh, you can go up to like x y z uh, three dimensions so after that if there are more than three dimensions it will be problematic to to represent those dimensions uh, in this uh, order so instead we use uh, like x1 is the first dimension x2 is the second dimension <coughs> uh, this way so uh, this formula has been rewritten in this way where uh, the intercept is now b and uh, y <coughs> is x2 x is x1 so if we reorder this uh, formula it becomes like this uh, and this part this part can be rewritten as the multiplication of these two vectors if you uh, multiply these two vectors you will get this part and plus b is there so this part is called the weight vector weight vector actually is like this um, it's like a <coughs> column vector but uh, you know to multiplicate multiplicate this two for the purpose of multiplication you have to transpose this it's nothing just you have to multiply this and get this for this uh, this uh, weight vector has been transposed uh, so we write it like uh, w to the power t i mean transpose of weight uh, matrix matrix or vector whatever matrix a has a dimension more than one and uh, a column matrix is called the vector column matrix or row matrix whatever so this part can be written as transpose of this weight vector and this part we uh, write it as uh, <coughs> capital X so weight vector W is said to be orthogonal to the decision boundary uh, how we will demonstrate <coughs> that using this diagram so think about uh, so this is our decision boundary this line is our decision boundary uh, it is uh, uh, it's it's a line uh, that is uh, represented using this uh, formula and uh, consider that there are two uh, as it is two dimensional I will say it is uh, two points uh, you can think of this as two vectors which is from this origin to <coughs> this point whose coordinate is uh, x1 and x2 and the other point that's on the region boundary that is xp so we can represent it as a <coughs> vector of the form xb1 xb2 so if we uh, use the formula of uh, vector addition we can get like uh, this vector which is x a plus this vector which is the difference actual difference between the x b and x a this part is the difference between x b uh, whatever so we uh, call this uh, diff so if we add x a and the difference this difference we get this uh, x b which is a simple formula x a plus difference is equal to x b so the difference becomes x b minus x a <coughs> so if we subtract uh, x a from x b uh, then which is uh, this vector so this difference it's a vector 2 this vector is perfectly aligned with this uh, decision boundary okay now <coughs> Um, for these two points 
we can uh, we can get this two formula it is uh, we have just um, replaced this parameter once with uh, this x a vector and once with this x b vector and we have got this two formula so if we uh, subtract the second one from the first one then <coughs> we get something like this as you can see the transpose of the uh, weight matrix with the difference vector which is perfectly aligned with the decision boundary is equal to zero that means as this uh, the dot product of these two vectors which is the weight uh, vector and the difference vector is zero uh, so they must be orthogonal which means if this difference vector and the weight matrix weight vector i haven't shown uh, the weight vector in here um, but you can think of it i mean you can uh, imagine it so yeah as dot product of this uh, two is zero so they are uh, orthogonal so if wt is orthogonal to this which is this difference part then uh, wt is ortho orthogonal uh, sorry also orthogonal to this uh, decision boundary so that's it uh, this way you can show that the weight uh, vector of the decision boundary is, is orthogonal to the boundary itself